how are we? Hopefully well. This, thankfully, it was a short week as far as work went, so there was that, but it certainly doesn't make things easier. You just have to cram more things into four days <laughs> and not five days of work. So, anywho, um, let's not bore ourselves with that. Let's talk about just stuff. I've been thinking about Vlogmas and all the... Um, prep that needs to go into that and this process this I I don't know I think this might be the last one or maybe next week will be the last one likely because of vlogmas I'm trying to figure out if this this weekly thing fits into vlogmas or or how how things are going to work out because vlogmas is really like every day something it's the advent calendars it's the things you know whatever's going on at that particular moment and it's an everyday video process so sometimes I'll combine and do like what happened that day and then I'll like insert some footage from like an event the night before or um the weekend or whatever or you know what there might be something in there that's pre-filmed, but very rarely, usually it's in the moment. And because in the moment, it kind of replaces this talking um, weekly recap thing. But I could also technically do a weekly recap as one of the, the videos. So I haven't decided yet. So I guess watch the space. But um, this, this weekly reset might take a hiatus during December at the very least. And then we'll start back up again in January with um, restarting where we were in using the bags and go from there. So I might, yeah, I might pivot, but I'm blabbing, lots of blabbing as I normally do. So still recuperating with um, the Nail situation, I literally, as I was cleaning house yesterday, broke this one way down here. So I've got this lovely little gash going across there. So I'm just trying to not make that any worse and get to a point where I'll start on um, strengthening. So I think I'm going to continue with the rather um, boring top coat like one coat and I'm going to really focus on utilizing. So I've got this cuticle um, stuff from Dior. I also have a pen that has cuticle oil. I think I'm going to focus on just keeping vitamins and nutrients and things going into that to get them back to where they were um, a couple months ago because they were doing really well and really strong and healthy. And I've kind of gone by the wayside. Okay, so with that, did anybody else get sucked in by the devil of Sephora's VIB sale? Because I did, and one box has already arrived. More are coming, which is really quite stupid, but um, I, I, I honestly don't know why I do this to myself every year. Um, I probably didn't need any of, well, no, this actually... These are things I did need. So I didn't necessarily need this foundation brush, but I did need new cleanser. So I don't think I ever mentioned, but my go-to facial cleanser was Purity Made Simple by uh, Philosophy. Let me grab everything out of here that I got. Um, and they had one specific one that was a gel cleanser, and it was fabulous. They stopped selling it in the outlet that I had gotten it, which was QVC. And then I found that Amazon had it and I had not auto delivered with Amazon for the longest time. And then Amazon finally um, worked through their stash of it. And now it's nowhere to be found. So it's been discontinued for quite some time. So, and it was a 
ironically, a facial wash that I used and my husband used, and he and I have vastly different skin. He has very oil, um, oily skin. He was very um, acne prone growing up. So very oily, very, um, until this day, still oily. And then I am very much a combo. So I have um, very dry skin in certain areas, and then I break out along this kind of area. So um, but we both could use it and we both loved it. So we are, we were both in that, oh my God, what are you going to do? <laughs> Don't have a cleanser. So I've been trying things from every brand under the sun for at about the last year, just trying to find something that will work and nothing is, does what that would do. I mean, I removed makeup, was great on my skin, wasn't drying. It was perfect. So, um, I decided to go with the Sephora brand items, Melting Cleansing Balm for taking off makeup. I like the Jeffree Star stuff. I know everybody hates him, but I, I love his stuff, so he makes good stuff. But I wanted to try um, this one to see if it was any good. I like the Elemis one too, but I don't like the smell. I like Jeffree's, um, the smell on that one. And then they had this AHA, BHA cleanser that had good reviews um yeah so I said smoothing exfoliate and glow face and neck cleanser so we'll see how that works out it wasn't very expensive so um this initial box was all the Sephora 30% off stuff the samples I got were Burberry Her and YSL Le Parfum why why? I don't know. Oh, this smells familiar. I want to say that smells like Sauvage or something. That smells very familiar. I think my husband has something that smells like that. Her, the first gourmand scent with a British twist by Burberry. A burst of red and dark berry notes are lightened by a luminous white woody accord. Oh, hi there. Well, let's try you out because you sound delicious. Okay. It's okay. Nothing I have to buy. Same thing. It's like something I, I know I've smelled something like this before. And nothing, nothing spectacular. So it's definitely not bad but it's not anything I'm like oh my god I need it have to have it oh my god yeah it's just just it's okay not not excited but you know it's okay um we're gonna go over and talk about the fragrances um I think I've been talking now for 10 minutes so we brought it like cut this out um did Dior fragrances this week. I've got some thoughts. They're not very deep thoughts at this point, but I've got some thoughts. And we will get another bag picked out. I'm not going to go into depth about nail polish because again, like I said, I'm on a healing journey. Other stuff to talk about. I will try to figure out what bag. I'm still, I'm in that era now where I don't know what bags are left with that are left to carry. So I might be cycling into something I've already carried. I don't have to go to work this next week in person at all. So don't worry about that. I do have a couple errands to run, take pickles to the vet. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything that the bag has to worry about being a special occasion or purpose. So it's just finding one that I haven't used yet. So We'll go over there and do the things. I will be back. Okay, so, um, yeah, we have thoughts. So let me start with, um, quickly, love it. Can't say enough good things about it, but, you know, it's it's my thing. So if you're not a powdery, vanilla, spicy kind of gal, you won't love this, but I love it, so it's my jam. Speaking of jam, um, <laughs> so... Rouge Trafalgar is very interesting because it's supposed to be a very um, fruity floral, very heavy type of um, scent. And I don't get as much fruity 
with the original. However, with this little bad boy, you do initially, the initial spray, that is like the most prominent scent. It's berries galore. I like it more. I definitely like this version better than the original. I do like the original just fine, but I like this one more. Do I like it enough to spend twice as much practically on it? No. Would somebody, if somebody gave it to me, sure. <laughs> but I don't know if I'd ever, and well, I can't say I won't ever. I, I, I could see myself possibly out of all of the um, ones I've tried so far of the Esprit, this is the only one I would, I would buy. So I do like it, but I think I could accomplish the same set profile by layering the original one with a fruity lotion, something with a prominent strawberry berry scent, maybe even, dare I say, cheapening it with maybe like a Bath and Body Works spray on top of it that has those berry scents. But because the it, the berry wears off rather quickly, that's why I'm saying it's it's basically the same thing. You're left with with, with this underlying scent profile but the initial you know hour or so is is this heavy berry scent so I'm thinking you can probably get here with layering um, on that one but I like it it's just not 400 and what 70 dollar like at this point so I like it just not enough to spend that much they're practically double the price of um, the originals so if I remember correctly. I might be wrong about that. And I'll correct myself in the captions if I am wrong. Um, the Gris Dior, of course, very different opinion. I don't really care for Gris Dior, the original. I don't mind the Esprit. The Esprit has a interesting take on Gris Dior. It has like this top essence that I can't quite put my finger on. I mean, it says it's just like cedar patchouli, I believe. Maybe ro I can't remember all the, the notes, but I'm getting something syrupy and slightly sweet. Um, and I, I don't think it's the cedar because cedar is prominent in holiday and it's similar to holiday, but not quite as crisp um, from House of Siage. But I don't think it's, I don't think it's the cedar that's making this, um, the scent come through. So I do like this one more than the original, but not enough to, to buy it. I'm very lucky that I got this deluxe sample size. I wish I would have gotten, um, so lucky to get Rouge Trafalgar in, um, that size. Maybe there'll be a future order that that will happen. So if that happens, I'll be like, I'll be set because that, sampler set I was going to buy is basically just five bottles of this size and it was almost $400. I think it was $360 and I'm like I could just wait around and eventually get all of them for free probably so you know what I mean. <laughs> Why spend the money if they're giving it away right? So deluxe freebie could be the way to go. Lucky and Oud Ipasan are the other two. I don't see myself needing to try them but I've been pleasantly surprised by these two, so maybe they are worth checking out. But not not a fail, but not I'm not gonna jump through hoops to get any of these. So um I do like it. I do like it, but not enough to buy it at this point. We are going to try some new fragrances this week. Ooh, new stuff. I was going to save it for Vlogmas, but you know what? I, whatever. It's just time. Um, so let's start over here with older stuff first. So Orchid Vanilla from Varan Cleef on Arm Pearls. Um, do you enjoy this one? So it just made sense to bring it out because I, my friend online, like one of my scent twins, Brian, um, just got the vanilla, a uh, tobacco vanilla and, um, he's loving it. I love it myself. So I was like, I gotta put that in rotation this week. So, um, that's what called those out. And I did go up to the Nordstrom, um, Washington square, which is up North. And I got to try out the Tom Ford fragrances finally for, um, 
this is vanilla sax this is um electric cherry and this is cherry smoke from tom ford i did not like the tom ford version <laughs> at all which is interesting uh, why well, I, I should say i liked them they just weren't like oh i i'm not gonna i don't i don't think i'd ever buy the actual one they don't impress me the way lost cherry does and i know lost cherry is you know conflicting opinions people love and hate it um I liked this one more than the cherry smoke, but um, I was expecting a brighter, um, bubbly, I guess, scent. And whatever they sprayed me with didn't come across that way. So I'm going to see how this one fares and see if that's that comes out with the dupe. Um, I don't really care about it matching the original because, again, I don't think I liked the original. So I'm hoping this is actually better. Uh, cherry fire, cherry smoke was fine, smoky, woody, whatever, uh, cherry, but, um, again, not, don't care. I did like vanilla sex though. Um, that's probably the one I would pick up, um, from Tom Ford. So I'm intrigued to see if this one will, um, pick the same as that one because it was nice so that one is the one i'm looking most forward to trying out but this is the tray of the week real quickly so i told you that i did this one and yeah we'll go with gold this week why not um and just go on the healing journey and make these stop breaking that's that's our goal stop stop dying I swear it's getting more crowded up here every week. So we carried the Fendi Spy and she was fun. Definitely not as difficult to carry as I thought. For some reason, I like, I think I was putting off with carrying her because I'm like, doesn't have a shoulder strap or crossbody strap, excuse me. I, don't, I can't wear anything on my shoulders. They're all slumpy and crappy. Um, but it was surprisingly easy to carry. I took it shopping with me with my friend, had it in the crook of my arm pretty much the whole time, and I really liked it. Um, easy enough to get in and out of. I just really want an organizer because, it, again, it's a pile of just everything's in there and flying around. What did I put in here? Oh, I put cash and a credit card in there. So, um... I did use the little secret pouch for some stuff and then um just threw everything else in as per use lip gloss anything else yeah i mean it, it i'm pleasantly happy i mean i'm kind of sad that rebag made me feel so awful about it because it was actually really fun i think i need to leave it out um or in a place that i can access it more and want to carry it more often because it was fun anyway, i'm gonna find a bag for this week it will likely be i don't know something utilitarian who knows but i will be right back okay i found one i haven't worn in at least a year and I don't even know when the last time I wore it, actually. So this one, I think I mentioned it in my Shopping My Closet video that Caleb tagged me in. Um, jewel Tones. It's my sapphire kind of tone bag. So I know it looks like black, but it, it's it's blue. Um, so a navy, empreinte leather, tote. It's lined in a dark blue it comes with this little cute little pouch inside i've got crap in here i've got a doggy bag oh there's my hand cream oh my god that, okay that that's a that's a blast from the past my dermalogica hand cream tic tacs i mean it's been a it's been a minute since i've been in this bag so yeah i'm gonna carry her uh because it doesn't have a crossbody i think that's why i don't carry it anymore um it's 
it's big enough for work, but I always grab the Neverfull. So I'm going to use it, see if I can make it work for an everyday bag. It's likely just going to go into the, the work bag, um, you know, a, a salt assortment. There are these hooks here that I think are meant for bag charms, but I'm actually like kind of tempted to like figure out if I can get like a strap that I might be able to crossbody. That would be nice because this would be so much more versatile if I could get it on my sh across my body and carry it to work. But I'm afraid of the pulling that might happen. So, anywho, that's my thought process. So I will get her packed up. Um, as I mentioned, one interior pocket. Well, actually, sorry, no, I lie. So it's one big one zip pocket right here. But inside here, there are two additional slip pockets inside the zip pocket. That's interesting. Very sneaky. And then it closes here with a twist. So it has lots of security. It's a very nice bag. So I like that. And then the little D-ring in here that holds on to the little pouch is really nice as well. So yeah, that's going to be the bag. I'm going to pack it up and I will be right back. So a couple things to note. It did this, not just because this is hanging off of it, so I put my cell phone in one of the slip pockets in here because it's, you know, a monster and it went. <laughs> so I don't think the cell phone can live in these, even though it technically fits, it sits too far outside the zip pocket. So it's just going to go into the zip pocket. Um, the other thing that's kind of cool about this little pouch, so it can become a clutch. You can, you know, take off the little hook here, hook it on itself. It can become a clutch um, or a, I'm sorry, a wristlet. There are two pockets inside. So a card holder, another little pocket, and then lots of little space in there. So a really versatile um, little piece inside. I got this for a steal from Bag, Borrow, or Steal. I think I paid like 700 bucks for it. It's beautiful leather beautiful leather. I love on prompt leather, but this is even more um, supple. The Felici is very structured, but this is just, mm, mm. I love, I love on prompt. So if I could get more on prompt or Mahina uh, for LV, basically collecting, they don't hold their value. So getting them pre-loved is really the way to go. And there's just a lot of them out on the market. So I'm going to look for a couple different Mahina styles that have just been catching my eye. And then there was one called like the Melly or I'll put the, the name up there. Um, it has an M name that I was really into several years ago that I, I want to pick up in either like a, a brown or um, a burgundy color. So that is the bag of the week. It is Infini Emprunt. I'll put the name of the bag up because I'm completely escaping me on what the tote bag is called. It has a special name, but completely blanking on it. So this is the bag of the week. So I had to laugh as I was going over there. I found my first Sephora shopping haul bag. I actually went to the store to buy stuff. Um, I bought this choose your own adventure perfume thing allows you to get a full-size bottle of whatever if, whichever one you like I didn't have the best luck the last time I did it but you know I wanted to try uh and I got this set I, I picked this up before and I really do like all the items in here they're all mini sizes but these um the strawberry one and the um the watermelon yeah watermelon glow that actually lasted me quite a, a long time i don't use it very often but um almost a year because i think i just threw away the, the bottles or recycled because they're glass um and then i got this one and i had gotten the sample of this kind of primer um i forget in what so Sun Glow, and then there's a limited edition one. And I really liked 
like it. So they had this set and picked it up. So another Sephora order I spent way too much money on and probably shouldn't have bought, but they're all items that I'm going to use. So, um, excited to try out one of these fragrances and see which one I'll add to my collection. I did the gold, um, top coat. It's not really showing up at all. So, um, yeah, just kind of sparse. So maybe I'll do another coat, but that was this week. So we're going to be rocking the, um, I want to say it's the Citadine. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the Citadine. Uh, Citadine tote from Louis Vuitton. Um, and really love that leather. I got to tell you. I mean, that's, there was just something about the Empreinte several years ago that was just lovely. It's like chef's kiss. So I really enjoy um, that, that line. So... Uh, that's what I'm going to focus on in the pre-led market. I mean, obviously, you know, I, I, I look at anything, but been eyeing those, been eyeing some Ralph Lauren RL fifties, um, on real, real, just kind of different things. Not, not your, not anything new. There's like nothing new other than those, you know, color mania things that have really piqued my interest out there. I'm just not, I'm just not seeing anything that's worth it right now. So anywho, um, anywho, I always say anywho. <laughs> we'll see what this week brings us. I hope you have a fabulous week. I hope things are going well for you. I, little secret, I think I'm going to put my, my tree up this weekend. Maybe not de fully decorated, but I, I'm at the stage right now that I think I want to l at least see the, the lights in the house. I know I probably need therapy for that, but I'm kind of like, I just need it to be the holidays already. I'm just, I'm just ready. So that might be happening. We'll see. Tell me if I'm crazy. And that's okay if I am. I admit it. I'm a little crazy. I'm okay with that. It brings me joy. I'll see you. See you next week. Take care.